And we've got this one tornado warning here. This is going to be now moving into the northern neck, moving out of the middle peninsula right in here near uh, Sharps. That's just a little bit southwest of Farnham. Mike, go ahead. They issued a new severe thunderstorm warning to take over where this tornado warning ends. But okay. with the circulation that's there, I mean, we, I think we should consider that a tornado warning, even though they didn't mark it as that. Right. And I think that probably it's something to trigger some some alarms on phones and maybe some weather radios if people have them. Just something to give people a heads up that, OK, there is a storm that's coming. We think and I'm just maybe I'm just sort of thinking what the weather service might be thinking here. We think this could be a tornado warning, but at the very least it will be a severe thunderstorm warning. So that's probably what it's doing is just getting folks aware, getting folks ready because the storm is moving so fast that uh, even if it were a tornado warning right now, you'd need to prepare. So stay alert. Luisetta, Lotsburg, Heathville. This storm is coming in and it's coming in quickly and has a tornado warning on it to your south and west. Farnham over to Sharps. That is a very intense area of uh, wind and circulating wind as well. And then it could be elevated. If it's elevated the entire time, that would be great. But rarely do you ever see triple digit winds when we query these winds, even a long way from the radar site. You know, a couple thousand feet up, several thousand feet up off the surface. That's 104 miles per hour. That's jet stream type stuff. And we're nowhere close to that when we're looking at this level. So this is relatively low level very, very high in winds at 104 miles per hour. Again, away from the radar site and then toward the radar site is much weaker. So there's a strong indication of rotation there along Route 3 now out into Richmond County between Farnham and Warsaw. Now just a little bit north of Sharps of a potential tornado here. Again, a strong signal for maybe a mesocyclone that could be producing a tornado. And that is something to uh, watch very carefully. All right, so this continues to move to the northeast at uh, 60 miles per hour. It's going to be crossing Route 360, headed for Lotsburg. So if you live in Lotsburg, you're not under a tornado warning right now. You're under a severe thunderstorm warning. But I'm telling you, in 15 minutes, it's there. Said, said less than 15 minutes. In fact, Mike, if you get a moment, let's put a uh, storm track on the circulation that's sitting right on Highway 3 right now, a little bit just to the north and west of Farnham. And we want to take this and uh, bring it right up into the northern neck. It's already in the northern neck, but take it all the way out. And again, that's going to bring it near Downings at 401, Mulch at 404, 407 Calio at Lotsburg at 408. It's 359 right now. That's nine minutes for you folks in Lotsburg. Uh, Claraville 411, Edwardsville 415, Folly at 417, Cayenne at uh, 420. All right, so this storm, again, moving east northeast at 60 miles per hour, has the potential to produce a tornado. Very high level winds being indicated out in the northern neck from radar. And this has been an area, it's a kind of a linear area, a linear cluster of storms that has embedded circulations within it. These can produce tornadoes, they can produce some some uh, serious damage from just straight line winds as well. So something to track here again. There's the time of arrival. Once again, for, this is for the whole line here. So broadening it way out. Downings 4 o'clock, Village 42 of Mulch 404, Calio at 405, Lotsburg at 407, and uh, Howland 410, Clareville 411, Edwardsville 415, Gagnon at 417. I want to mention that you are watching the CBS 6 News at 4 o'clock with continuing coverage of tornado warning here across the Piedmont and Tidewater of Virginia. The entire area here across central and eastern Virginia for all intents and purposes is under a tornado watch, just meaning that the atmosphere is conducive for storms that could produce tornadoes. And this is about the fourth tornado warning that we've seen so far this afternoon. These storms are in steering flow that is very, very strong. So they're moving very, very fast. The slowest storm we've had so far has been calibrated at 45 miles per hour. This one is moving at 60 miles per hour. And again, that's going to be right in here. So a little bit uh, north and west of Farnham headed for Lotsburg out in the northern neck. So this is going to cross 360 a little bit north of Farnham heading over toward Lotsburg. It does have the potential for a tornado and this Tornado warning goes until 415, I believe, another 14 minutes on this. And honestly, by then, it's probably going to be out close to Luisetta and out across the water. So not much longer here. So it's we've got it about five miles from Lotsburg. We'll go six miles from Lotsburg. So 
He, uh, six is he still. To five to Lotsburg, six to Heathfield. Oh, six to Heathfield. Here we go. Yep, yep. One minute. Six to Heathfield, five to Lotsburg. When it's moving 60 miles per hour, it's simple math. Five minutes here, six minutes here. Okay, so that's very, very fast closing speed. Coming in quick, east, northeast at 60 miles per hour. Lotsburg, five miles in five minutes, six miles over to Heathfield. So stay alert as the storm moves through. Notice that neither one of those locations are in the tornado warning area. It ends right here. Something's going to have to happen. As of right now, there is a severe thunderstorm warning downstream for Luesetta, uh, as well as the Heathville and Lotsburg area, but we'll see. Yeah, as of right now, I still think there's a very real threat for a tornado to develop with this storm as it continues to move to the northern neck in Richmond County and Northumberland County. And uh, this storm, again, it's part of a line, so it's not a singular storm. There's not any lightning with it at all. We're just looking at uh, heavy rainfall and then that wind, but it doesn't matter. Lightning doesn't matter. It's all about the wind and the winds here. They are intense. And again, this area at one point, uh, Mike sampled it and it was 100 four miles per hour. Again, we're looking way up off the surface, but still 104 is a number that you just you don't really see very often. I mean, maybe a couple times a year. You just don't see that. There's 95 miles an hour, 93 miles an hour. So again, these winds off the surface, but that is some intense wind even off the surface. And uh, so we have very strong vertical wind shear and we have strong directional wind shear. And both of those will lend themselves to storms that could produce tornadoes and storms that have little embedded supercells within them. Supercells are just storms that have a rotating updraft in there and those are the ones that produce tornadoes. So that's what we're tracking very carefully this afternoon. We've had several Several of those type storms and several tornado warnings because of that. So there's a circulation there north of Farnham, right over 360, continues to now reach the very edge of the tornado warning as it moves up into the northern neck. It's approaching Lotsburg. So if you do live out toward Lotsburg, you need to take your tornado safety precautions and do it right now. Again, there's the circulation north of Farnham, south and west of Lotsburg, and approaching Lewisetta. Oh, there's a new tornado warning right there. There it is. Okay, so they have extended the tornado warning now. That's good because that circulation is still there. So now you are under a tornado warning out in Lewisetta and Lotsburg and Heathville until 430. So the circulation has maintained itself. It is intense. It continues to track through the northern neck, and now the rest of that area has been added to the tornado warning. So Heathville, Lotsburg, Lewisetta area, all in the tornado warning. I think Ken Sale as well is behind the uh, banner here. You guys likely in it as well. And again, movement here. Now well, you're just on the outside of it in Ken Sale, and it's going to move south of Ken Sale. So again, it's going to be moving up toward Calio in Lotsburg, Walmsley, uh, Lewisetta Lake. So right across the uh, the rivers there. And so this is uh, an intense circulation. Again, we're looking right in here near the tiny little area of Village and just a little bit south of Calio. Lotsburg and Walmsley looks like they're going to be center line for this thing as it comes in. And what we're looking at here is the northern neck. If you're just tuning in, this is the northern neck up in uh, parts of Richmond County and uh, Northumberland County as well. The storm continues to track the northeast really quickly, so it's going to be out over the Potomac uh, in very short order. We also have a circulation down near Jamaica in the Middlesex County area right along Route 17. So right in here, there's no warning with this one, but that is a circulation right in there. You've got a lightning strike, so a little bit of a rising motion in this one, maybe a little bit of an inflow area. So I would think Jamaica could be next on the list. And then also I mentioned this earlier, the storm now near Wakefield and these storms here lining up from Colonial Heights and Petersburg down through Denwoody. Right now, a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect, but I could see that upgraded to a tornado warning as these storms progress farther eastward. As of right now, you've got no circulation in here. Hopefully that stays that way, but the atmosphere to the south and east has a lot of wind shear in it, and uh, I could see these storms continuing to move to the east and posing a problem for Charles City County down into Sussex County as well, Prince George County. So again, stay alert, guys. You've got some warnings out there. These are all severe thunderstorm warnings, but uh, at any time, these storms could start to show some of that rotation. It can happen in very short order in an atmosphere like this.
OK, back into the northern neck we go and uh, we've got the Lotsburg storm just a little bit west of Lotsburg. And there's that circulation probably still right at the intersection of 202 and 360. And that's going to move right up through Lotsburg. And the storm is moving to the east northeast at 60 miles per hour. Mike, when they added the new warning, did they change the movement? Uh, they went 55. 55 so. miles an hour. OK, so still moving very, very fast. So again, that circulation here. What we're looking at, I know that this is not the prettiest thing to look at. It's not what you look at when you look at your phone and you look at the radar that's on your phone. But this is the wind. This shows us what the wind's doing, and that is everything. That's the only thing, really, that matters at this point. We know that storms can be dangerous with their lightning, and there can be some flooding with heavy rainfall. But as of right now, we're looking at a threat for a tornado. Mike has circled the area of greatest concern, and it's right there along 360 near the intersection of 202, just a little bit west of Lotsburg. And that storm is going to be heading up Luisetta Road close to Luisetta. In fact, I think this could easily move right across Lotsburg and right across Luisetta. There is no confirmation of a tornado at this time, but there is an indication, strong indication of uh, rotation with this storm. It's not in a very good area for radar interpretation because you're seeing things that are way up off the surface. Not storms don't often run right over the radar site so you can get a good sampling of it. So that's just kind of the nature of things. But when you sample the winds and you see 103 miles per hour. That's that's strong, strong jet stream type stuff, and we're nowhere close to that level. We're much lower than that. So this is an indication of very strong, low to mid level winds and the potential for that rotation as Mike is showing. So that center of circulation is going to be uh, just a little south of Calio now, a little bit south and east of Village. And right in here, that's going to be tracking to the east northeast, right across Lotsburg, and then it is going to be heading. There's an update on it now. So again, it is uh, closing in on Lotsburg, just a little south of Calio, and that's going to be heading up toward Luisetta here in uh, really no time at all. Let's put another storm track on there if we can, Mike. Now that we've got a new update on this, again, there's your circulation essentially right over Calio, and uh, again, that's moving northeast. So. Lossburg to Luisetta, and then this out here, right here, this is just the river. That's the Potomac. So again, we're looking at the shoreline right here. Uh, as this continues to move to the north and east, the uh, locations and the path of here, again, a lot of rural land out there, but folks are definitely at home. We've got a lot of folks that do live out that direction and a lot of interest out of that direction as well. It's moving 55 miles per hour, so that is going to bring it near Calio at 409. It's 409 right now, so we talked about how it's right over Calio. Lotsburg at 411, Bundick at 413, Sissons Corner at 414, and Cohort at 415. If you are in the path of this, you need to always think lowest level first floor of your home. If you have a basement, that's always the best place to be. But think first floor and think the interior part of your home, not just inside your home, but away from those external walls and away from any rooms that have a window in them. So hallways are great. Closets are great. Bathrooms are good that are off of a hallway in your home. Just always think lowest level. You need to get out of a manufactured or mobile home and get into a wood or brick structure much better places to be in a situation like this. So again, these precautions, you got to take them right away, even ahead of these storms, way ahead of these storms, because they're moving so fast. And you won't have to take them for that long, because again, these storms will blow through the area very quickly. Again, we've got a broken line of storms that extends from uh, up around Lotsburg and over Cayo. Is this a new warning, Mike, for the Jamaica storm? Uh, that is a new severe thunderstorm warning for that Jamaica storm we resumed into a little while ago. Okay. And I also want to mention there's a new tornado there warning we go. for uh, Surrey and Sussex counties there, in fact. Okay, so it talked about how this one. part of Virginia is primed for rotating storms, and here we go. We've got a tornado warning now, and this is right in their backyard down at Wakefield. So while you say stay away from external windows and uh, walls. There's probably somebody out in the parking lot right now trying to get an eye on that thing as it's coming right across 460. So again, here's 460 and you can see the circulation coming in there. There's Waverly. So again, that uh, circulation is affecting the 460 corridor. New tornado warning. And is that Sussex County primarily? Yeah. Surrey County as well? 
probably. So we have a new tornado warning. And again, that's going to be Sussex County and moving in, uh, affecting the Waverly area. And that circulation is going to continue to move north and east very quickly like others. Again, it's going to be right back in here is where you know the circulation and still tracking that cluster of storms around Petersburg, Prince George County as well. No tornado warning there, but that could change. And a severe thunderstorm warning up into Middlesex County. That's going to be for that storm near Jamaica. At any time, I think that that one could be one that could uh, get enough rotation to prompt a tornado warning. Okay, the tornado watch has been dropped in a few locations back to the west. Still technically for Hanover County, as well as Henrico, City of Richmond, and Chesterfield County, but no longer in the watch out to the north and west uh, through Louisa County, Goochland, Powhatan. You guys no longer in the watch. This watch goes until 7 o'clock. Many areas will be cleared from the threat before 7 o'clock. We're already seeing that happen. I think that'll happen in the Richmond area as well. So again, tornado warning for Sussex County and Surrey County with the storm that is crossing 460 between Waverly and Wakefield. Then you have a cluster of storms from near Petersburg and Colonial Heights down the 85 corridor through Denwoody. No strong circulations, but on the leading edge right here, right in here at the end of the E and Denwoody, starting to see something showing up there. So that would affect you folks over in the Carson area. So just stay alert with that line of storms as it comes in. You're under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. So you want to be inside and away from the windows as it is, but this could be upgraded to a tornado warning as we get into more and more shear. Let's look at this storm here, Mike, in Charles City County has an interesting configuration to it, and it looks like it could be very, very close to the boundary. And again, that might have a circulation with it. We're not getting a lot of data with this, but we'll see when it updates again what uh, what may be going on with that storm. And of course, we have the tornado warning that continues for the northern neck. And again, this storm is moving so quickly now that it is no longer in effect. Well, technically, it may be for the Middle Peninsula, but it's gone. So don't worry about that if you live in Richmond County. Uh, or excuse me, Essex County. Essex County's out of it, but there's that circulation. That's going to be right along Lewis Setter Road, just north of Lottsburg. Again, that is an intense circulation. You've got winds that are coming toward the radar site in this dark red and away in this uh, yellowish shading. So right on Lewis Setter Road. Again, this right here, this is here's Lewis Setter. This is the uh, coast. So again, we're looking at. Uh, we're looking at the Potomac River here, so that's right along the shoreline there. So this is going to be moving right across the Potomac River here very quickly. Their weather service up there is going to pick this up in a heartbeat. I can promise you that they're going to issue a warning up into southern Maryland. In fact, I'm surprised they haven't already done that as it continues to track to the north. But this is an intense what could be an intense circulation. It definitely is off the surface. Very, very strong winds aloft and it is moving up uh, now leaving Luisetta okay. or leaving Luisetta Road is near Luisetta. So potential for a tornado up around Luisetta, north and west of Luisetta. Hey, Zach. Mike, what you got? Um, from Northumberland County, the sheriff's reporting there's a tornado on the ground in Calio, and that was as of about five minutes ago. Okay, so tornado on the ground in Calio five minutes ago. So, okay, so we had a confirmed tornado on the ground. That's from the sheriff yes. up in Northumberland County. Okay, Sheriff in Northumberland County confirms a tornado on the ground in Calio. We we're telling you about this circulation over Calio. That was five minutes ago. Now this tornado is moving right along the uh, coast, moving over the Potomac here. Lewis Seta, you guys are in the threat area of this for a couple more minutes, then it will move out across the uh, Potomac. And it looks like we've got an extension of the tornado warning up into Southern Maryland. So it makes perfect sense as this goes. So we have a confirmed tornado on the ground out in Calio. And so that storm, it had an intense circulation. We saw it 104 mile per hour winds just off the surface. So we saw the potential there as this continued to track to the northeast very rapidly and now north and west of Luisetta. This thing is going to be moving right across the Potomac River here in just a matter of minutes. All right, so we have seen on radar the potential. Now we have the confirmation of what is going on. So. Again, we've got a circulation here as well. This is the one that moved through Jamaica. We get a tornado warning with this at any second. I thought we could when this moved near Jamaica. This is Waterview. This is in the Middle Peninsula in Middlesex County. Waterview. This moved from Jamaica to north of Waterview. It's right here now, and this is going to be moving near Lively between Moratico and Lively. There could be a tornado here as well. 
All I'm seeing is what's on radar, but I'm telling you this doesn't look that dissimilar from what just moved through Calio and is now moving up just a little bit west of Luisetta, which uh, did have a confirmed tornado with it. Got the sheriff's report of a confirmed tornado on the ground in Calio. And now that storm is moving up across the Potomac River. Let's check it one more time and see this thing out across the water and out of Virginia. OK, so it's in Luisetta right now. So that tornado, it moved from Calio across Luisetta Road. And if it's still on the ground, it would have moved from Calio across Luisetta Road and through Luisetta. And now it is moving out across the Potomac. So it would be over water now at this time. It would be over water and heading into Southern Maryland. But there's where we picked it up and we've been tracking it the entire time, but we picked, came right across Calio, Luisetta Road and just west of Luisetta and now it is out over water. All right, so now we've got this other circulation here. This one is just a little bit west of Lively and Mike, can we query that? That's got to be at least 75, 80 mile per hour winds crossing 354. So this is Lively here. There's 354 and again, so 67 mile per hour elevated winds with this one as it continues to track across Moratico Road and just a little bit west of Lively. So this one does not have a tornado warning on it. It's a severe thunderstorm warning, but that could change at any time. We also have uh, warnings farther south. There's a tornado warning for the Waverly area. So two active warnings at this time, one in the northern neck, but you folks in the northern neck, that tornado has now moved over the Potomac. Farther south, you've got a tornado warning for this storm crossing 460 and you're just not getting a good look at it because it's just right on top of the radar. Let's check out the regular intensities, Mike, if we can and see what's going on. So, you know, if there's going to be a tornado, it's probably going to be right in here. It's just so hard to resolve that. You're at the, the cone of silence, essentially. So the radar has this section above it. They, they can't see because it's not shooting straight up overhead. It kind of goes around. And so unfortunately, you're not able to see exactly what's going on in this area of relative radar quiet, but right in here. So say a little north of Wakefield, a little bit to the west of Dendron is where this uh, potential tornado is going to be. That is for Sussex County and Surrey County, and it'll be crossing Route 10 as it continues to move to the northeast at, uh, is this, this another 55 mile per hour storm, uh, Mike? This one's 45. I'm putting a storm track on right Okay, now. so 45 miles per hour on that one. And you see what's going on up here. We got Williamsburg in the path of this storm. So 45 miles per hour on that Sussex County storm. North and east of 460 is going to take it near Dendron at 422. Spratley's Mill at 425. Elberon at 427. Moorings at 430. Surrey at 433. Alliance Lions 437, Pleasant Point at 439, Hollybrook at 444, and Homewood at 446. All right, so these things are ripping along at uh, anywhere from 45 to 60 miles per hour. The storms a little bit uh, south of the boundary seem to be moving a little bit slower than the ones a little bit farther north. Again, there's not much going on back in here. Every now and then you'll see a little bit of circulation trying to get going, but as of right now, I don't see much right in here. Mike's kind of zooming in on. He saw what I just saw. There's really not much there. Not yet. So we're going to continue to track that area. Currently, it's just a severe thunderstorm warning for Colonial Heights and Petersburg as well as Dinwiddie. And then we have a tornado warning here for uh, Surrey and Sussex County. And of course we have the tornado warning as well that is up in the northern neck. But again, that storm, that tornado has now, it was a confirmed tornado that we're getting at least from the sheriff's office in Calio, called in a tornado on the ground in Calio. And now that has moved out. It is over the Potomac River and uh, things now settling down a little bit in the wake of that storm. There's Calio. They are in the clear air now, but that storm moved right over the top of them and moved right over Luisetta Road and just a little bit west of Luisetta, maybe very near Luisetta, and is now over the Potomac River heading up into southern sections of Maryland. So we don't know about damage in Calio yet. Uh, you know, a lot of rural area out there. There are folks that live in that area, though. So uh, hopefully everything is OK and it's just trees and, and crops and such. But um, hopefully everything's OK. We'll get an update on what's going on up in Calio after that confirmed tornado moved through the area. So again, we have uh, the tornado warning is going to continue for another 10 minutes. They're probably going to drop it just because the storm is now 
moved out of there. Farther south, we've got the storm near Jamaica, and we've got this one that uh, we're looking at near Moratico and Lively. Let's check the uh, velocities on that one again. So it's still there. You still got a circulation north of Lively right up in here. It's not quite as strong, but uh, it's definitely one to track as it approaches 201 coming out of Lancaster. So again, we're going to track this circulation as it continues to move to the north and east. You got Burgess in here. So between Burgess and Heathville, right along 360, say so this uh, circulation is going to pass right between those two. Probably it will be coming closer to Burgess than it will Heathville. The circulation will. Uh, as it moves to the northeast. And again, this is another fast moving storm. These storms have been moving anywhere from 45 to 60 miles per hour. So the uh, steering flow is super strong with these storms. There's your circulation again north of Lively now. And moving to the northeast, it's going to be heading up toward the 360 corridor between Heathsville and Burgess. So be ready up there. Even though there's not a tornado warning in effect at this time, that could change. OK, as well as Regina, you guys have to watch out as well out in the uh, northern neck. Getting more updates uh, also for damage as this uh, storm moved through Calio. We're going to report that to you when we get it. As of right now, all we know is that there was a confirmed tornado in Calio. It matched up with uh, intense winds. And Mike, what do you got for us? Well, there's been an update to that report. OK, although it was officially before mentioned as a tornado on the ground. It's a possible tornado on the ground and multiple tree lines are down. Tree and power lines are down. OK, trees and power lines down. Calio to Lottsburg. OK, all right. So we're going from initially sheriff said a tornado was on the ground. Now we're getting a possible tornado on the ground. So we're just relaying this information to you as we're getting it from from the officials, from the official official of the location. So there's some damage up in Calio potential tornado was on the ground there. That storm is now gone and it is moving uh, out into Maryland. Now we've got another storm here. This one is north and east of Lively, north of Lancaster. And this one is going to be headed up toward Burgess between Heathsville and Burgess. It's right along about to cross 201 and head up toward 360. So again, that storm has the potential to possibly trigger a tornado warning. As of right now, it is not. It's north and east of Lively, and it is headed north and east very quickly, like all the storms have this afternoon. It is moving at about 55 miles per hour. Let's check the south storm, Mike, if we can. The 460 storm, this one's down in Sussex County. At last check, it was a little north of the Wakefield area. Again, you see how quickly all this stuff is moving through. We've got storms run West Point to Jamaica. A new severe thunderstorm warning, that's going to be for Reedville and uh, over toward Irvington. And there's the tornado warning for this storm that is a little bit north of Wakefield. And that is going to be heading up toward Williamsburg. And you got a big cluster of storms back here. This cluster of storms from uh, Petersburg and now over toward uh, Hopewell and Prince George is going to be moving to the east. There's no warning with that right now. We continue to sample it and look for any kind of circulations. Last check, there wasn't much there, but uh, we'll look at it again and again. Hopewell to Prince George, just a little, just little tiny things in here. Nothing that's super alarming at this point, but all that can change because this is an area that does have pretty strong wind shear in the atmosphere. So as these storms continue to move, they're also getting pretty good air. There's nothing out ahead of it. Just disrupt the airflow into them. So that inflow is going to be favorable for these storms to uh, perhaps strengthen a little bit and maybe produce a tornado. So again, you can see what's going on here. Mike's looking at the total rainfall. There's been a lot of rainfall with these and uh, there's the wind damage reports. You had one out near Tappahannock. Let's see thunderstorm wind damage in Essex County power lines down in the road near Churchill Road and Daisha Road. So that road is very familiar to us. That is the uh, road there, Daisha Road. That's the one that uh, you had the tornado damage. I believe that was back in February 24th of 2000. You know, maybe 16. We had a big tornado outbreak. Yeah, EF3 tornado uh, may not have been that long ago, actually, but uh, that was some rough weather down there. So that's out in Essex County. Piney Point, let's see, wind gust 46 miles per hour out there. Uh, that was out near the, uh, let's see, 
Tempest Station on the Shore Lane, adjacent to the Tidal Potomac River. Okay, and uh, so there's that damage report. So a couple of damage reports, a couple of wind reports as well. These storms continue to advance to the north and east pretty quickly. Uh, looks like we got a circulation in the air. This is the one north of Lancaster. Still has not prompted a tornado warning. Uh, I still think there's a chance that it could at any point, but as of right now, it hasn't. So again, this is going to be one to watch as it approaches Burgess. It's going to continue to move to the north and east and approach Burgess. It's crossing over Brown Store Road right now, and you got Remo in here. And anything new? Mike, for any of that? No, actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to make a little correction here. When we talked about this uh, confirmed tornado, it yeah. was passed along to me as that, but I do want to just correct. The sheriff mentioned a possible tornado on the ground, so it wasn't the sheriff's fault. It was... Oh, I see. So that was... I'll, I'll, t I'll take credit for that mistake, so it was okay. a possible tornado on the ground. Okay. I just want to correct that because I don't want to attribute that to the sheriff's fault. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. That's good. Um, all right, so good. So hopefully everything is good in uh, the Calio area with the storm moving through. Just a little damage there. Got a reported damage also in Tappahannock. So some damage in Tappahannock, some uh, damage also in Calio, and haven't really got any damage reports out of the Richmond area, although we just really haven't had much intensity of the storms in the Richmond area. Had uh, that one storm that got pretty intense just north of town up off Chamberlain. Uh, but since then, you know, all the action has kind of shifted to our south and uh, these storms right here, they are kind of behaving. They just right now are severe. Wind gusts could approach 60 miles per hour with these. But as of right now, we've not had any tornado warnings there. You've got this one storm with a tornado warning uh, across the 460 corridor. But again, this is just very heavy rainfall uh, from the Tri-Cities area, and that is stretching up to the north and east. So that's going to be affecting Charles City. So if you live out in Charles City, just stay alert as this storm comes in. It's going to produce very heavy rainfall. Some gusty winds will be possible as well. And the southern end of that is going to clip Carson and affect the 460 corridor once again, also Route 10 as you head down towards Spring Grove. So that area of Prince George County, some pretty intense stuff. What Mike is drawing right there is the uh, gust front here. So you see this little broken area of light green. That's the gust front. So that's the air that's being pushed out ahead of the storm. So long before the storms get there, you get that gust of wind that'll come out. And a lot of times it can, it can uh, lead to shelf clouds, kind of a very ominous looking cloud out ahead of these storms. It should not be confused with a wall cloud. And again, that's that line right in here. And a lot of times that's good for storms that uh, would otherwise produce tornadoes or could produce tornadoes is you get these storms that are outflow dominant and they just don't have the potential to get the strong updrafts and the rotating updrafts. So that is a, that's a good feature to see, but a lot of times, you know, where that gust front can get wrapped up into the line is where you can get uh, a little spin up. So we'll track this line carefully. As of right now, there's not a tornado threat with it anywhere, stretching from Charles City County down through Prince George County and down into Dinwiddie County. So far, so good with this area of storms. Still severe though. Farther north, just some light to moderate rainfall through New Kent County. Gets a little bit heavier over toward West Point up the 33 corridor. Again, this warning is supposed to go till 430, but again, it's long gone. That storm's way up in Maryland now. And we have severe weather approaching Burgess and also on the west side of Mollusk. Again, a couple of storms here. You have strong winds. Again, there's still a circulation that's going to be passing very close to Burgess, just a little bit to the west of Burgess. And as of right now, it is just a severe thunderstorm warning. But Mike, what are these winds saying in here? Uh, probably jumping into the 70 mile per hour range now at this point. 76 miles an hour. All right, so you've got high level winds stronger now than they were about 10 minutes ago. So again, that's an area to watch as the storm approaches Burgess. Uh, looks like it's going to be right over Burgess or just on the west end of Burgess, and it's going to be heading up uh, Hacks Neck Road and then out to the Potomac River. Uh, so again, looking at storm reports, we just got that one storm report from uh, Heathsville's uh, structural damage reported, including a roof and siding damage off 360 in Heathsville. Possible tornado. So again, this is the Heathsville area. So this was the storm that moved from Calio over to Heathsville. So new storm report coming in. This was at 409, so 21 minutes ago. And that was with the storm that again, it moved from Calio right in here to uh, near Heathsville. So we can go back a little bit. Let's go in a little bit tighter here. 
So it was, it was uh, there's, there's Cali and there's Heathville. So, okay, that was a different storm. We had two different storms here. That's right. We had the other one that moved across uh, parts of the northern neck. So, again, a lot going on here. That storm that moved across Cali has moved out. We had another storm that moved near Heathville, and it could have been straight line winds. For all we know, a lot of times it is straight line winds. And people will say it sounded like a tornado, sound like a freight train. Well, strong winds will sound the same way a lot of times. Uh, so either way, it doesn't matter. It's wind that produces damage. And uh, storm, again, approaching Burgess right now, still has strong winds with it and a indication of some circulation. This is going to be moving out across the Potomac. Wouldn't surprise me at all if Maryland didn't pull the trigger on it and issue a tornado warning as it moves up into southern Maryland. As of right now, though, it is just a severe thunderstorm warning for us here in the northern neck.